hello developers to today we're gonna create new vmware uh, virtual machines so today we're gonna create a new mac machine uh, what do you need to do first first you need to download and install vmware workstation players so download and install that player so this is that player so after you download and install your player so you're gonna just uh, choose where to install it just click next 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 and install it into your c drive so it's very easy to run and install i will put the link in the description uh, today we're gonna use uh, mac os ventura so mac os ventura iso i will put the link of this description of this iso file so uh, just i will i will just skip this because i already installed this uh, after you install the vmware player uh, first don't open don't open vmware player just uh, you you gonna need this unlocker file right click on windows install and click uh, run ad as admin so this is very important don't open it because this uh, will later allow us to install uh, Mac OS. So after that, run as an ad admin, uh, close this unlocker. So I will put the link of this uh, in the description of this unlocker and is a file. So you see unlocker, right click, run as admin, and then we're gonna open our work workstation player and we're gonna create a new virtual machine so for that we're gonna need iso file that we downloaded mac os ventura monterey mac big sur i will choose ventura iso and click next mac os 13 apple ox next virtual machine is mac os 13 ventura uh, location this is very important is here into our documents this is our files of our virtual machine so click next and this is our uh, virtual disk so uh, i will put here single file and click next also i can customize my uh, my PC, I, I can give more virtual RAM. Memory for this RAM machine, I will put about, this is, I have 16 in my PC, I will put about nine. Uh, CPU, if you have strong CPU, you can put the number of cores to use. Uh, this is our ISO file. Uh, and what we need to do is to add if you if you want you can add uh, components here so click uh, close and click finish here now we have our uh, mac os ventura file so right click settings or edit virtual machine settings uh, i will remove this hard disk because i i want to add my existing hard disk or create new one in another location create a new virtual disk uh, i will put it about 230 click next and i have my two terabytes disk that i will use uh, for space new disk 230 gigabytes because i don't have space on my c i will use a uh, space from my uh, my other hard disk to use it like virtual disk okay we click okay another thing what we need to do after we finish this setup okay we finish it setup there's another important very important thing is to modify the mac os ventura vmx file where is that file it's in our documents so go to documents 
virtual machines uh, it's our macOS Ventura Ventura and right click edit so what do we need to change so you have this file you see virtual dev uh, and just add this code or change uh, change it to this copy you see uh, virtual dev and paste it one file so we're gonna change to vmx net free and also another thing that is very important is if you have amd cpu you're gonna paste this file this code if you have intel cpu you're gonna paste this code or your virtual machine will not work so i have imd so i pasted this code so after that click file and save or you can exit then click play virtual machine so this is more important uh, most important thing to modify these changes uh, or you you will have uh, this infinite apple logo without this loading screen that means you didn't correctly modify this uh, vmx file so uh, that's the important i will put also in the description this code for intel and for imd cpus so this is very important so uh, we also finished this uh, also when uh, your uh, booting finishes what you need to do don't go he here first go to disk utility and choose one virtual device SATA hard drive and erase it so it needs to format it before you can use it so click erase uh, and you can put your name of your disk and click erase to format it and after that uh, you're gonna be able to to uh, install mac os so you see click next examining volume volume as disk utility i'm going to disk utility and i'm going to erase this partition we're gonna put our c drive or you can name it as ever you want erasing done close just close it and go in install macOS Ventura click continue continue and we're gonna accept the agreement after that macOS we finish and last step what you need to do is to install VMware tools so the last step to fix graphics is issue is you can uh, install these tools in the virtual machine go so in virtual machines uh, click VR from the top left bar and select VMware tools I will put uh, also link of this go to Apple menu system system setting privacy and security and toggle VMware tools daemon on so you can if you want install this VMware tools file so as you see now it's my hard drive it needs about uh, 30 minutes to finish so uh, thank you for watching if you have any any questions you can ask in the comments below thank you thank you